week. My name is Karen Reed and I work at Walker Library. I manage the curriculum collection and I'm also the education librarian for all of the College of Education programs. Before coming to MTSU I was a middle school librarian so I am very familiar with K-12 as well as the special demands put on school librarians. This week we will look at STEM which stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. STEM education has been a focus in recent years as different standardized tests, including the NAEP, the National Assessment of Educational Progress, have indicated that a large percentage of American students are falling behind in math and science. There are also significant demonstrated achievement gaps by socioeconomic status and race. To combat this trend, K-12 education has looked to improve the means by which we engage students in these subject areas. Another consideration is the addition of the arts to this educational focus, changing the acronym from STEM to STEAM. Proponents of adding art to the mix say that art adds a different level of communication and expression to the focus, skills which naturally lend themselves to the creativity required by those in science and technology. As school librarians, our responsibilities to STEM slash STEAM in the classroom are twofold. One, to support classroom teachers in their work to teach STEM, perhaps through co-teaching, and two, to bring STEM to the library through our teaching, library programming, and collection development. There are countless ways to implement STEM in the classroom and library, and this week's presentation and readings simply intend to give you ideas to get your creative juices flowing. So along these lines, the first thing I want to show you is information about a fantastic local resource, the STEAM Bus, which is part of the Discovery Center Science Museum, located in Murfreesboro. The STEAM Bus is a retrofitted school bus, which can be booked for school visits in order to give science lessons. The STEAM Bus started out under a grant by which they visited every elementary school in Murfreesboro City Schools. At this point, the STEAM Bus is focusing on other underserved school districts in the area. However, they will visit your school for a reasonable nominal fee. But please watch the video to learn more, and so that you can complete the assignment. The video can be found at this link, which directs you to Walker Library's Institutional Repository, also called Jewel Scholar. This link is also on D2L. Your goal this week will be to integrate various readings and media to form a STEM lesson plan. You will have two options for completing this lesson plan, which will influence the way you approach your readings. But for both options, the initial premise is this. The STEAM bus is coming to your school. In anticipation of this visit, you have reached out to a classroom teacher to collaborate on a special STEAM project. This project may take one of two forms. One, you may co-teach the lesson with the classroom teacher. Or two, you may create special library programming, which coincides with the STEAM bus visit. If you choose to co-teach, you need to specify several things. You will need to complete a lesson plan, and I have a lesson plan template uploaded in D2L that you can use. This exact lesson plan isn't required, but if you go with a different plan, it should address the same content. You will be submitting these lesson plans to the discussion boards to share with your classmates. You need to specify who you will co-teach with, what grade, what subject will you be co-teaching, so for this, you wouldn't just say science, but you would specify, for example, I'm going to teach a fifth grade science lesson on biodiversity. Identify at least one standard that corresponds with this grade and subject. You will need to describe the lesson in all parts and explain who is going to do what part. So remember, in co-teaching, you can switch off with the classroom teacher throughout the lesson. Or you can specify that at a point you will split the class into smaller groups for an activity, and the classroom teacher might take a section and you might take the other section. Just be creative. Also let me know how long this will take. Will it be during the class's regular science period during the day? Will it take more than one day? Part of this lesson plan includes a collection development plan, and for this I want you to choose a minimum of five books related to your lesson that you would purchase for your school library. These books should be children's materials related to your topic. So in my example above of biodiversity, I would choose five books on the subject that are appropriate for fifth graders. To help you with this, I have lots of resources listed in the LibGuide for this unit, 
which I have linked through D2L. But these resources are just a suggestion. You can also use the selection sources you have learned throughout the semester. The other option is to create library programming in support of the STEAM buses visit. If you create programming, you will also need to create a lesson plan that you post to the discussion boards. You will need to specify the nature of your programming. What grade or grades is this for? When would you offer this program? After school or during regularly scheduled library class periods? You will need to identify at least one standard that corresponds with this grade and subject. You will need to describe exactly what you're doing for this programming. If you decide to do an after-school computer programming class, for example, you would need to specify the resources you use, where you do this, the particulars of the lesson, how long it will take, for example, is this one afternoon or several days. And, like the co-teaching assignment, you will also need to create a collection development plan as part of this option. Let me know a minimum of five books related to your lesson that you would purchase for your school library. The last thing you will be doing this week is reading a short article about co-teaching. I have linked in an article through the LibGuide which is a nice description of co-teaching and collaboration between school librarians and other stakeholders. I'm hoping to get your wheels turning and get you thinking how all of this plays out in the real, real world of on the job. So with that in mind, I want you to read the article and then answer one of these questions. 1. Imagine you're the brand new librarian for a school in which your predecessor did little to no collaboration with the teachers. What would be an effective strategy for initiating a co-teaching session with a classroom teacher? Or 2. What are some possible pitfalls to collaborative teaching and what could you do to avoid them? So you'll choose one of those and you will be writing a reflection and then posting this response to D2L. And later, as part of your final exam, you will be responding to a classmate's reflection post. So I hope you will enjoy your week of learning about STEM and or STEAM resources. I find that a lot of children are just naturally interested in these topics and we can easily engage them. They are growing up in a time of massive technological advancement. I think we can tap into this and promote these topics fairly easily in the library. I hope this week will help you think of new ways to promote the STEAM subjects.